are back in the boat shed and we're just working on the bow sections now. So the uh, port side ones started to go on and uh, we're going to lift the starboard one up and put yeah, that on. The bow plate that's uh, going on next and the thinner bit on the top is the gunnels for it. That, that round. There we have the first plate on coming round. Now there's Dave getting a cup of tea. On the end of that bow plate we can see the lines marked on and that's the development of the curve that when this comes round and meets up with the other one you get the edges to join nicely and it will also lift up off the deck so this base plate comes up a little bit to meet it it's to be pulled up and welded on so that's how they go we'll take, we'll take and pull from the bottom of that plate and the, and the bottom of the starboard bow plate and as we pull them in together that bow section which has been developed and the bow section on on the uh, starboard plate should start picking up there in the centre that bottom trolley should, should pick this one up about that height and then all the other will close up and you get a really nice fine uh, lines to make the barge a pretty thing which is uh, what we all want to support Aye that's it, what a Bobby Dazzler <laughs> you know. Anyway, she's coming on now, so we'll have a look again in a minute when it comes to that. Let's take the lens cover off that now. Hey! Took lens cover off, works better. I'll fall over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to sew it if I fall over, though. Here we are, Dave's doing his sewing now. And as you can see at the bottom there, it rises up as they come to meet. Remember base plate will come up to that. You see the base coming up now. She going Admiral? <laughs> That's not bad, that's right. Hey, she's a clever lad. Just let that down a bit. Two cuts, two cuts. It's gone too far, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't know why my glasses keep falling off. You know, all of a sudden my glasses are sort of falling off. <laughs> <laughs> he is wrong shape. Wrong shape had that day. See how the base plates come up now. It's all pulling in to a nice knee joint oh. at the front, which is what we want. That's nice. That's on your line, that outside.
Hello folks, Andy here and welcome back into the boat shop. A uh, bit of an update because uh, unfortunately um, the footage I put on tonight is uh, there's a bit of a break in it because I lost a lot. I deleted it all by mistake. So I don't know how I did that but I did. So this is the boat as it is now. From uh, the last bit we're pulling the, pulling the bow together here and uh, the base plate up as you'll see that's all finished so this is what we're working with we putting these doors on and what have you obviously there was a lot of work in between putting these tunnels on and uh, all the uh, top on here and what have you so Dave's been busy and I've been lazy Work. The way it keeps getting in the way. No, but I'm on it uh, so to next couple of weeks I'll be on doing this and put a few updates on what I'm doing. Because at the moment Dave's set sail off from Arbicourt to the Shetlands or the Orkneys or he's on a bit of a trip on his yacht from Copper Sail and sails the oceans, you know. So he's away for I don't know, a few weeks. Anyway, he's having a good tour around there and uh, Look at what she's looking like now. The red stuff's uh, the NDT spray they've put on. So you can see the base plates up. The point of it's all welded up. There's, there's a the seal to go on the front of that, like the uh, you know the, the nose bits. I'm not exactly sure what you call them, but they have to go on yet and up the front there. So looking down the sides now, this is what we've got. Hatches on. So inside the well deck there, and some spatter spray, spatter release spray. So that's the well deck welded up. And the view from to the front, the view to the pointy end. There we go. And coming down here. Dark, I'm afraid. Right, there we are. We've got a bit of light in there now. So that's the view from inside the boat under the uh, well deck. So the, that big space there, that'll hold a, a decent uh, water tank. Uh, so we'll get one of them made to go in there. Probably a stainless one. Uh, we'll see what's on offer. <coughs> or oh, we make one. And the back's still the same. <coughs> Going down the blunt end. <coughs> um, I've just got that. That uh, box section through. That goes straight through the water. To, sorry, that goes straight through the diesel tank, and uh, goes up to your rudder. So that's your rudder tube. All the 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 bar goes through there to the rudder, and uh, that's the plate that's been profiled out. You can see those cutouts there on a the five degree lean. So it actually doesn't go straight through the boat. This tube. Don't go plumb through the boat. This tube is actually on a lean five degree vertical, as you can see on that. That there, when it's in its position and comes up, it's cut through the plate on top of the diesel tank, and that's um, then as your your mooring pins on and the breather for the diesel tank, and then. This plate here I've just started working on and that's uh, the fittings there, they're all for the diesel tank 
there's, um, there's the flow out the tank to the pump, there's the return diesel line to the to the uh, tank again for the excess diesel that gets pumped back and then we'll have an auxiliary uh, tubing for any if a heater wants to be put on or something like that, you know, Airbus Packer or one of those diesel fired heaters. So we're going to cut a plate out of here which uh, will have the three three sockets through and uh, the angles on such as and that will be a bolt on plate so if something goes amiss in there you can at least remove that plate and you can get in and uh, you know you can do something and we'll put a bleed bleed off one at the bottom which uh, as I can see most bolts don't have on which is stupid my bolts actually got them on and that's 40 years old you know you can drain my tank off and you can remove the hatch to get into it so I'm going to copy that sort of idea onto this so if there's some maintenance needs to be done you can do it because right. it looks like most bolts will just seal it all in to so that's where we're up to it anyway so I'll be getting some more on next week um, I know a couple of people have asked me uh, where the footage is with the next footage but I'm sorry I just uh, a bit clumsy with this deleting on the things I deleted the wrong card and uh, so well, <laughs> I've lost it all anyway so just a bit of an update and uh, I hope you all have a good weekend it's Easter, not Easter, is it at all? You still it's sad. it's bank holiday weekend so have a good bank holiday everybody and it looks like we're going to have some nice weather so I'll see you later, two hours